So hey there guys, um, for those of you that already know this is, uh, well I guess it's on the video uh, title, <laughs> this is that 118 scale uh, Panda Hobbies crawler, it's uh, powered by a 180 motor and um, because of that a lot of people have gotten a uh, hold of me trying to get me to probably make some kind of a motor plate adapter like I've done for the SCX24 to see if they could get this to do what we've been able to do with the SCX24 which is you know like really nice slow chrome um, it's kind of jumpy because it doesn't have those uh, worm gears that you have on the SCX24 axles but then again What is this? You have a slow crawl. Very slow crawl. How is this possible? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Alright, so it has a slow crawl, but it's also pretty quick. Let's try that again. Let's try to go real slow. There you go. So we have a super duper slow crawl on this guy right now. Now, as I was saying, a lot of people have been trying to get a hold of me to see if I could do something with it. Um, what they've pretty much been asking for is to make a motor plate, but I have to break it to you guys. This transmission is not motor plate friendly. Um, it's all, you know, one piece to where you mount the motor. This is where the motor goes. And this is the 180 motor that goes attached to it. Uh, 51 turn 180. And this is not a gear box here. It's just a little piece of aluminum to kind of take up the slack because it has to have a really long shaft in order to clear the actual transfer um, transmission case. So... Even if I was to make a motor mount to kind of do away with this, I don't know, cut this piece off and do a mount that would go around there or attach it to this part right here, we will still run into the problem that this gear has a bushing right there. So, you know, I wish that was a bearing, it would be even better. But anyways, it needs this cover and it needs this part right here to kind of line up with the shaft so that it actually has some kind of stability. It's not like the SCX24 where we don't we only have a nut there, we don't have to worry about that for stability. So if there was a motor plate made for this, we would have to take into account that we will have to do something to put that bush in there. That's again not very easy to do. It's possible but extremely difficult and um the, I guess the, the measurements have to be on point, like perfect. And if I was going to do motor plates for different motors, it's just a nightmare. So I figured there's easier ways to go around it, even though they're going to be a little bit more expensive, they're better. So I do away with that. Then I do this. That is the SCX24 transmission mounted onto the Panda Hobbies um, skid plate. Uh, this right here, that shaft, I'm going to have to extend so that it actually works um, to be able to, you know, so it won't come off because once uh, once I take off and give it some power, that may come off because it's too short. But anyways, all I did was I created a adapter that will hold onto this transmission and it will go onto that um, skid plate. And that's how it sits. But pretty much by doing this, not only can you use, you know, the SCX24 transmission, which I would say is better than um, the one that comes with the vehicle. Um, 
but you also can use any motor plate that I make to use any motor that you want on this um, vehicle. So, you kind of see the motor spinning. Let's see, come on. You can even count how many spins it does. So let's uh, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so when you're going slow enough that you can actually count the revolutions of the motor, you know you got a good combination. So obviously I'm using the Lizard uh, ESC from um, Fury Tech. Let me go ahead and Where's my battery? Ah, uh, battery. There we go. Pull that out. I want to show you guys the size. So that's the whole ESC right there. This little guy, that's what's um, making this motor work. This is the Bluetooth connector. You don't really need to have that all the time, but I don't feel like taking the little, you know, heat shrink there out to be able to take it off, but it doesn't need to be there. But anyways, that's the Lizard ESC from FuryTech. That's the Surpass motor. Uh, the only reason I could spin it right now is because I don't have the drag brake on. So, you know, that would hold itself if it had the drag brake on the ESC selected. But I left it like that so that I could, you know, spin it around and move it back and forth. Anyways. Uh, that little adapter, um, I'm going to tweak it just a bit and then I'll mount it, um, I'll put it on the Shapeway store, um, so that you guys can get a hold of that if you want to do this conversion. You could go with the SEX24 transmission onto your skid plate. Um, that's the easiest way that I could come up with and the cheapest way because that adapter will be extremely cheap and, um, you can do, you know, do the swap and put the transmission in there. And you'll be able to have brushless or, you know, pretty much any motor that I use on the SCX24, you can use on this. And, um, yeah, that'll be it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you don't get mad at me for making it this way, but it works. <laughs>